An EPRI-led team with multiple stakeholders successfully reached a major milestone in November 2017 by loading the high burn-up demonstration cask. EPRI and the U.S. Department of Energy DOE, launched this project in 2013 in combination with nuclear power operators, technology vendors, researchers, and scientists to load a specially equipped dry storage cask with high burn-up spent fuel to study the behavior of high burn-up fuel in dry storage. Storage of spent nuclear fuel in dry casks is widely considered low risk based on decades of EPRI and nuclear industry research and testing, and this study will serve to build upon the library of available data. Much is known about high burn-up fuel from laboratory testing. However, this project will provide the first data on high burn-up fuel during actual dry storage conditions. This is an important development because nearly all spent fuel pools at U.S. nuclear plants and many plants around the world are approaching capacity. Since 1986, dry casks have been used to expand that capacity. These casks can potentially enable storage for several decades or more. As the nuclear industry generates more high burn-up spent fuel to improve reactor economics, more data is needed to support long-term storage of high burn-up fuel in casks. To begin collecting data as quickly as possible, an existing cask that had already been fabricated but not placed in service was used. The existing cask was modified, including machining holes in the lid to install seven thermocouple lances. The thermocouple lances allow for measuring the temperature inside the cask from the outside, a difficult design challenge. The lances, equipped with multiple probes in each lance, were inserted through the lid into the fuel assembly after the fuel was loaded in the cask. The design ensured that the thermocouple lances would be sealed to maintain confinement of the material inside the cask. A standard vent port in the cask lid allows for gas samples from the cask to be collected. To allow North Anna to load and store the cask, Dominion Energy Virginia submitted a request to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission NRC, to amend their dry storage license to include this demonstration cask in August 2015. After a comprehensive review, the NRC approved the amendment in September 2017. The high burn-up demonstration cask was loaded in November 2017 using standard industry practice and moved to the Independent Spent Fuel Storage Installation ISFSI, at Dominion Energy's North Anna Power Station in Virginia. Several types of high burn-up fuel from different vendors were included to learn about as many materials as possible in this single demonstration, thereby maximizing the value to the industry. Internal temperatures are being recorded at 63 different locations inside the cask, including during the thermal transient of draining the cask of water, drying it under vacuum, and backfilling with inert helium gas. The team also collected gas samples from the cask interior at three different times following vacuum drying for laboratory analysis to detect if any fuel rods were breached during the drying process and gain additional information on the effectiveness of the drying process. Data from the project will be used to support high burn-up license applications and renewals for a number of U.S. nuclear plants. Project participants include Utility Dominion Energy Virginia, technology vendors Arriva, Westinghouse and NAC International, and six DOE national laboratories. The project involved developing a test plan, selecting the high burn-up fuel to be stored and monitored, obtaining data on the baseline characteristics of the fuel selected before storage, designing, licensing, and fabricating a storage cask that will allow the fuel inside to be monitored, loading the cask, and collecting the data. The test plan, which was made available for public comment, was published in February 2014. EPRI selected the fuel for the research project in close collaboration with Dominion Energy Virginia, DOE, and the national laboratories. Factors considered included both peak temperature and the range of temperatures for the different cladding materials. Cladding is the metal tubing used to contain the uranium fuel pellets. 
The host site had four types of cladding available, making Dominion Energy Virginia's North Anna Power Station an excellent choice. Arriva and Westinghouse extracted sister rods from high burn-up assemblies at North Anna and shipped them to Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Working in cooperation, Dominion Energy Virginia, EPRI, DOE and the National Laboratories selected the sister rods, ensuring they have the same characteristics as the fuel rods loaded inside the cask. Oak Ridge National Laboratory has completed the initial non-destructive inspections of the sister rods. Destructive examinations will begin in 2018, starting with rod puncture tests to determine the pressure inside the rods, an important parameter in understanding the cladding properties and behavior during the period of dry storage. Researchers will compare the physical state of the sister rods to rods stored in the cask following about a decade of storage. Dominion Energy staff plan to continue recording temperatures inside the cask over the next 10 years while the cask remains in storage. Then the cask will be shipped to a facility that has yet to be identified for post-storage testing. In this testing, the cask will be opened in a large hot cell to inspect the fuel. Additional fuel rods will be extracted and examined to compare the results with the same non-destructive and destructive examinations of the sister rods to better understand the effect of dry storage and transportation on high burn-up fuel cladding. Ultimately, the high burn-up demonstration will support cask designers, users and regulators to better understand how high burn-up spent fuel performs in dry storage over the long term. Data acquired from the program will be used to confirm analytical conclusions regarding the performance of high burn-up fuel, establishing that long-term storage and transportation to a centralized storage or disposal facility can be done without significant adverse effects on the fuel.